What are you doing, boys? We're going to school, don't forget. Patty Linfoot and her Romany gypsy family have lived on this piece of land for four years. For three of those years, they've been locked in a battle with Chorley Council, who want to move them off. It's been hard work, it has. It's absolutely draining, it is. And we're still no further forward. If anything, we're behind, because come Christmas, we don't know where we're going to be. And it's, 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 it's an absolute nightmare. It may sit next to the M61, but this is Greenbelt land, and although the gypsies own it, they're living here illegally. You are on Greenbelt land, and the rules say, the law says, you can't live like this on Greenbelt land. We're about councils building on Greenbelt land all over. It's the only affordable land that gypsies and travellers can buy. It's not a lovely Greenbelt field that people think it is. It was actually a dumping ground before we actually moved on. But in this small estate, just yards from the gypsy site, there's little sympathy. No one in this area denies the travellers the right to education, bringing children up at school. What we are objecting to is the fact that they, they are trying to achieve these aims illegitimately by illegal ways and means and flouting the planning process. And Chorley Council say that the unauthorised development has significantly harmed the attributes of the Greenbelt and results in an unacceptable loss of openness. They've spent thousands trying to move the gypsies on and the case continues through the courts. If you and your family get moved off this land, what's it going to mean for you? I can't put it into words what staying on this land means to us and our family and my mum and dad and the kids and that. It's just, it's devastating. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's quite emotional. But today, the government intervened in the case. They've asked the High Court to halt the latest legal moves forcing the gypsies out. Chorley Council say they're extremely disappointed. And although it may only be a temporary reprieve, Patty and her family are celebrating. Tim Scott, Granada Reports, in Lancashire. Well, next to the twin boys from Lancashire who've been delivered safely thanks to pioneering laser surgery while they were still in the womb. Scans revealed Oliver...